What do you want, kid? It's about my dad. I want you to hurt him. It's the time of the preacher When the story began we just read it when we were in high school and we became obsessed with it and really wanted to like expose as many people to the world of it as possible and so we thought we'd try to adapt it and then it was in the hands of many more talented and successful people than us for a very long time and we just always maintained that we thought we could do it and we always just made it very clear to whoever had it that we thought we could do it and eventually we got our hands on it. Preacher, enough. Almost done, Sheriff. Personally, it's thrilling for me to write television because when you write a movie, at least our movies, they have to start and they have to end. And we don't tend to do many sequels. We've just done our first sequel with Neighbors 2, but usually we write a movie and it's over and it's done. This, it's like this adaptive, uh, amorphous thing that keeps changing and shifting. It's really not easy. It's one of the more daunting things we've ever done because you have to make something that both satisfies people who love the material and is at the same time completely unpredictable and, and in and of itself a great TV show, which a great comic book does not always make. I loved her so dearly. We don't want to make another one of our movies. Seth, he's, you know, he yells comedy, big comedy. And we don't want people going into this thinking that. It's a very funny show. You know, one third of it's very funny. But it's a serious drama. And we thought Seth would be distracting. He'll be in it eventually, for sure. There's a few characters we think he'll play. And even then, not. we don't want him to be a main character. Jesus, what kind of a preacher are you? <laughs>